What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Saitama from One Punch Man. Let's begin today's lesson by drawing a line coming down the center of our page to help with the symmetry of our drawing. We're starting from the very top in the middle. Just gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now I don't want to go too dark because I'll eventually want to erase this out. Now along the top, we're gonna draw another guideline going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side, extending that out and over towards the right. And I'm going to use these two lines to help us create a circle. From the center, let's step up towards the top. It's going to mark off the top of our circle with a straight line. Now you want to take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's add two more marks along this horizontal line, taking this distance over towards the left. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now to create our circle, all we need to do is connect each of these points with a curve. So we'll start with the top left side. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement on our page. We can always go back and just smooth this out. Now with our circle in place, let's add two guidelines coming down the side of our circle. Starting on the left, draw that straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add one more line going across the bottom of our circle, going out toward the left and right side. Now from the center of our circle on the bottom, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the left, towards this point. Now let's do the same thing up towards the right, going out towards the side of our circle. Now you want to create a separation in between the brow. So from that center line, let's step over towards the left, draw a short line going up, and we'll take that distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I want to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. From this point, we're going to step up. It's going to angle this up and out towards the side of our circle. Let's line this up on the right side. And then from the outside, it's going to curve the eye coming down. I'm just going to bend this back in underneath the brow on the inside. Now you see the bottom edge of the iris underneath the brow. Starting over on the left side, draw a small half circle coming down and then up. And then go over towards the right side. Now from the bottom of our circle, let's step all the way down, just mark off the tip of the nose, drawing a straight line going across from left to right. And then from this point, we're gonna draw a V, going up and out toward the left and right side. From the tip of the nose, let's step down, draw a straight line going across the mouth, towards the left and right. Now from the bottom of the mouth, we're going to step down, draw a short line going across the lower lip. Now from the bottom of the lip, we're going to step down, just mark off the chin. Just right about here, go all the way across from left to right. Now we're going to move out and add some shape to the outside of the head. From the side of our circle, we're going to draw a straight angled line, coming down and in towards the jaw, towards that nose line. So right about there, and we'll do the same thing on the right, coming down and then in. Let's pull the chin coming down and in towards this bottom line. So angling this down. I'm going to leave a gap in between the sides. Now on the side of the head, we we'll draw two half circles for the ears. Let's start on the left, going around, and just pull that in towards the bottom of that eye line, and we'll line that up on the right. From the jaw, we're going to step in, draw two straight lines coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page, for the side of the neck. I'm going to step in, draw two straight angle lines coming down and in towards the center. Now right where the side of the neck meets that chin line, we're going to slope the shoulders, coming down and out. Now we're going to block in the cape on top of the shoulders. From the bottom of the neckline, curve this up and then out towards the shoulder. And we'll sketch two circles on either side, just beside the neck. Now that we have a rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. 
It's also going to decrease the length of the brow. Now that we have our clean sketch in place, we're going to go back and modify the shape and add a little bit more detail. Let's start by adding some shape to the eyebrows. Start from the inside corner. I'm just going to go up and out. I just want to bend that out towards the side. We'll do the same thing on the right. A little bit of thickness to the upper eyelid. Coming down the side. And just adding a small fold on the inside of the eyes. And across the brow. And just draw a line coming down towards the nose. Some more shape to the side of the head, just rounding out the jaw. And we'll go back and add some more shape to the ears. And bringing that down towards the earlobe. back and add some folds along the inside. Now we're going to add some shape to the inside of the cape, just rounding out the bottom and then bending that out to create a fold. We'll add a fold along the bottom, coming down just underneath that circle. And now we're going to go in and darken up our contrast. Once we're happy with the shape, I'm just going to commit to those lines. I'm going to start with the eyebrows first. Just adding a little bit of thickness along the inside edge. And just darken that up. I'm just going to mirror this over toward the right side. Now we're going to go in and add some more detail to the eyes. I'm just leaving a little bit of a highlight along the bottom right side of the iris. Now going in and adding some more contrast to the ears. Start by tracing out the contours, adding a little bit more shape to the earlobes. Then adding a fold inside.
I'm just gonna add the shirt collar just underneath. Start with that curve in between, and then the light trim underneath. Now you wanna move in with the side edge of our pencil and add some shading inside the ears. light shadow just underneath the eyes along the inside and just underneath the brow. I'm also going to add a guideline across the neck for shadow, just a curve going down the center and it'll lightly shade in the top half. A small highlight circle on the top left side of each circle on the buttons, and we'll shade in the bottom. Now we're going to go back and add a crosshatch pattern inside the shadow areas. I'm just going to darken up the bottom of the buttons going around that highlight. I'm also going to darken up that shadow just underneath the head and just fade that down. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more contrast and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Saitama. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.